Hello, good afternoon. Yesterday, I promised some mushrooms. So that is what I'm gonna be painting today, some florals and mushrooms. I have such beautiful colors to paint them with. So I'm really excited about this. Hi, Abs. <laughs> Great to see you. Hi, Diana. All right. I haven't painted mushrooms in a little bit, so. I'm really excited. And I am going to try and make this a floral piece as well. I just feel like this palette is meant to paint mushrooms. Let's have another little one here. Got to give the edges here some dark color. Actually, mushrooms are something that I could really take my time with painting. I painted a butterfly today, um, but I don't have it anymore. It was a gift for a neighbor's daughter who turned three. But it does have me thinking that a butterfly would look really good here. So I'm gonna make sure I include one. Let's see, I'm gonna go for some purples and blues as well. Make some really quick Lavender here. Purple splatter in the sky, maybe some clouds. Ooh, that sounds really pretty. to do lots of little fern-like greenery for this too. So I think lily and warm wood would look really good mixed for that. If I wasn't doing this live, I feel like I would have sketched something maybe and really taking my time with it. But I like being really loose and, and going quick with my painting when I'm with you. I also think it's more fun to see it evolve in real time quickly.
probably more fun to watch too. I love it already. Okay, I'm gonna have another fern like element. Let's have that curve up behind the mushroom. That's really cute. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit more detail to the mushroom. Let's see. So it looks like we've got some shadow already. Lean into that. Thank you so much, Diana. <laughs> All right, I do want to add that butterfly. So just quickly deciding on a color to a mix of plum and elderberry. Mm hmm some blue in there. I'm going to switch my brushes so I have a tiny bit more control with these details. I'm going to get my Phoenix Ash, beautiful black, and These are handmade paints, yes. I don't sell them, these are from Boulder Colors. Um, Boulder Colors, do I have something that has its logo on there? So like Boulder, Colorado, uh, you can go to their website, Boulder Colors Watercolors. So this is a set of quarter pans. I know this palette really is. So look at how 
yummy and foresty that is. So many different um, combinations even within this that would look really good. So this is what I did yesterday if you didn't see this live. So that is also using those colors. Yes, blonder colors, Jesse. Definitely let Amanda know that I sent you. If you do, maybe you'll get a little something bonus. Okay, I gotta get my little antenna eye in there. That's the part where I'm absolutely shaking, trying to be precise. I think I nailed it. <laughs> I do this so I can screenshot, and then I remember that. Oh, geez, I mean, that is very smart, Jesse. Very smart. They do have edible paints, yes. Um, so this is their lake pigment. So they take that food waste. Um, they do have a process to make it, you know, permanently will stick to the to the paper and stuff. So like mordants and things, um, alum. So there's, there's a whole process there to, to make paint, handmade paint. Thank you, Elias. Um, anyway, the edible paint is, is different so that you can paint on breads and cookies and other things like that. Um, I haven't tried it yet. So yes, you know, Jesse, if you are serious about wanting to make your own paint, Boulder Colors has a little educational uh, booklet that she put together as well. Also, her Instagram feed has just freebie information that she just shares. It's very, very cool. All right. So I need to add a few things. I don't know what I want to add to this. I don't think it's done yet. I don't know. I really like it. Um, <laughs> yes, Jesse. Well, there you go. Bold room colors. You already have it written down and saved for later. Um, she will turn you into the magic of watercolor making. I just, I just buy her watercolors all the time. Every single palette is a hit. Um, so I've got these yummy greens right here. Look at all of those. That's bolder colors as well. The pigment salts, I have not done it, but I've seen lots of artists who have, and they, they make really cool stuff out of it. Um, I kind of just stick with her, her watercolors because I know if I get hooked on that, I'm going to be wanting all of those as well. Um, yes, watercolor. Well, watercolor painting is the magic that I am interested in. That's my favorite. Um, so... I don't know what I want to add to this. Um, maybe another little fern, kind of how this is, is scooping in, maybe a, a little taller one scooping in there. I think that's kind of where I'm going to end this one. A little bit of a, a balance there. Okay. Now I'm going to try not to get my hand in all of that paint. Jesse says, I love collecting special water. I have some from the Grand Canyon and a waterfall in Yosemite. Ooh, that sounds wonderful. I didn't even think to do that. I do have lots of shells from beaches that have meaning, places I've lived, shells that I've collected with the people that are important to me. Well, I do teach watercolors. Um, I've, I actually even taught at my place of work. I did a professional development course, um, just sort of very basic flowers, leaves, this type of, of plant therapy, basically. Um, and I am a teacher, chemistry teacher, though. So I kind of got used to teaching on camera during the pandemic. So I have a little document camera, got the whole Google Meet thing down. So I do 
that also in my spare time. Shells to keep your paints in. Oh my gosh, I have to find it. I know it's in one of my palettes. I think it's right here. This is a shell from Greece with paint inside. That's handmade watercolor paint. Um, this is from Jill Estelle. Look at that. <laughs> Sounds like you are a modern witch, potions and orb. Oh, that is the best compliment. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. Um, I think abs, yeah, you, you mentioned saying the dot cards and whether they're worth it. Let me show you a few dot cards that I have. So talking about how worth it they are. These are my most used colors from this particular dot card that I got a year ago. I used it, oh my gosh, minimum a dozen paintings. You could see the holly has a huge um, dent in there, but you know how much I paint abs. And so some of these hardly look like I touch them. So I'd say dot cards, yes, very worth it for testing colors. It's a witchy kit, yes. And um, these last me a good long time. It helps you if you really do want to invest in a color, maybe up it to a quarter pan, half pan, if you're in love with it. Um, but this is also good for like a travel palette, right? For me, if I, I was going to go away for a weekend or something, I just take this color. It's got all the colors that I'd want to, to use. So it's kind of one way to use them. Um, vampire kit, yes. So I, I'd say yes. And, uh, if you were here yesterday, I did mention that Boulder Colors has a world watercolor month sale since July is... World Watercolor Month. Um, so she's got a mystery dot card. So you'd get one of these at random. Wouldn't know which one it is. Um, but any first time buyer of Boulder Colors will get a discount for that. Okay, back to my painting. Still staring at it. Still thinking if I want to add anything to it. Jesse, well, it's, it's kind to your bank account if you just say, I'm going to buy one, right? She always does free shipping too, so... That's something to think about. Thank you, Lake Lynn. Boulder like the place, so the first one, Elias. Boulder colors, again, I should have, there's the little Boulder colors. Yes, oh my gosh. I hope Amanda gets lots of business in this month. She is so sweet, her whole family participates, even her little kids in making the paint. Um, if you're ever on Instagram and pop in on her page, you could see that. It's really fun. So the, not to mention they're amazing colors, as you can see. All right. Um, I, think, I think that's it for today's painting. I really love the butterfly above it. Um, I do have like a white gouache. It's not, it's just a really thick white watercolor paint. In this palette, these are not watercolors from Boulder Colors. This is from the Art of Soil. So all of these paints come from soil. Um, so you can see that white. I might add the little little dots on the mushroom. I'm going to make sure it's nice and dry. Jesse, this one, I'm sad to say it's going to end up in a pile. So I've got a whole bunch of paintings that I, I make, and it's going to end up in a pile. Um, all my paintings are available to purchase $15 a painting. Um, it makes me happy that they get seen instead of being in my drawer. Uh, abs the, the Boulder Color Sale. It's for a mystery dot card. So you'll, you'll just not know what the dot card is that you're going to get. Uh, so it's on a discount. She also has a bunch of dot cards available, but any first time Boulder Color buyer will get a discount. I, I don't want to say off the top of my head what the price is because I know they go for $12.50, including free shipping um, for something like this if you were to buy it. So it's got to be cheaper than that. I don't want to say what it is because I don't remember because I'm not a first time buyer. Um, 
but she's got some amazing ones. So one's only made from roses. She's got, there's Black Magic here. I love that one. So this one, this one was a special one. This is all those poisonous dots. Yes, <laughs> I love it, Jessie. So think about it, go to her website. Um, if you like watching me paint watercolor florals and botanical things, loose watercolor, I'm doing this every day, 4 p.m. Eastern. Um, for as long as I can, Liz, I do. We can talk in my Instagram DMs or message me here. Um, I've done a few. I can send you, we can talk, but this is my sort of style. Uh, if you want something with ink, um, I do that as well. Sort of little inky details on things. I do. And I do have time because it is summer and as a teacher I have some time right now. So hope you enjoyed today's painting. We'll see what I get into tomorrow. Probably another palette. Something, something different. <laughs> so I hope to see you again soon. If you do have any questions uh, about watercolor. Yep. Thanks, Elias. Thanks so much for joining. Happy to connect here. Uh, if you do have any questions about watercolor in general, um, my brushes, uh, paints, or anything like that, you can always let me know. Otherwise, it was great painting with you guys today. Have a great day. Bye. Yes, for another live. Jesse, I love that. I love this one. <laughs> Bye.